Alors là, il va arriver. There are some places here. I'll tell you what. Give me this place over Glade House any day. I know, at least it's safe, are you? <laughs> yeah. But it, 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 even even that even that activity earlier on, just listening to the spirits of yeah. the children running up yeah. and down and, and shouting, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. And uh, Michelle says it's between around three o'clock. She says it's around three o'clock, four o'clock. It, it, it gets more active. But it was it was even just around midnight there. Yeah, we were hearing yeah. we were hearing them spirits, yeah. and like they were literally just around us, like yeah. literally just around us. Yeah. Good evening, folks. Uh, welcome to tonight's live stream, live from Ducats Grove and County Carlo. <laughs> this is probably the the biggest uh, weekend of the paranormal shenanigans lives so far. Um, an absolutely amazing place guys, amazing place. Sorry we were so late but we just spent most of the day getting to know the other teams and getting shown around. Uh, tonight it's just myself and Damien here. Um, there was three three members of the team travelled down. Myself, Damien and my brother David. Um, David's back at the campfire with the other teams and myself and Damien just thought we would go exploring. Um, Shakira Tonar, happy 18th birthday. You're you're the legal age to drink now, so don't get too drunk tonight now, okay? <laughs> so here we go, here we go guys, there's Duckett's Grove Castle, just over there in the distance. Myself and Damien are in the in the garden. We're in the gardens now. There's the top garden and there's the bottom garden. The top garden is active enough with spirits. Now, for those of you who didn't hear us at the very, very start, where we are camped out is actually in the barn beside the stables. And earlier on, we were actually listening. This is no joke, guys. We were listening to the spirits of children running about the place and shouting and laughing and footsteps up and down. Um, it was an absolutely amazing experience. And, you know, where we're camped out, that's where all the children, the spirits of the children play. Now we're just taking you for a little walk around the garden now. As I say, that's an absolutely beautiful castle in the background. Look at that there. That's Duckett's Grove. An absolutely amazing place. Um, now we're in the top part of the garden. In a couple of minutes time, folks, we're going to go down into the bottom part of the garden where the Duckett's Grove Banshee is said to reside, is said to haunt. And one of the girls was actually telling us earlier on that uh, her and one of her teammates, uh, one occasion down here, they were down by the part that the band she is supposed to haunt and heard the most blood-curdling screams ever. So um, myself and Damien were hoping to maybe repeat that tonight or get in contact with some sort of spirit through the spirit box. I have the SB11 with me. Um... Yeah, so we're just going to take a wee walk around the top part of the garden first, just to show you it's about. And then we're going to go down to the bottom part, and we're going to go to the section that is said that the Banshee hunts. That is one of my primary objectives as a paranormal investigator, to actually get in contact with a resident Banshee of Duckett's Grove Castle, Shane's Castle, Spike Island, County Cork. One of them anyway. And we're just getting the feeling at the minute, guys, that we're being followed. Yeah. The presence of spirits here is absolutely unreal. The atmosphere has changed a bit since we were last in here. Yeah. We, we took a tour around earlier on. Now, guys, if any, if any of you can see anything, as usual, just take screenshots. Um, I'm going to hold the camera as steady as I can. Uh, we will be using the full spectrum light at some stage, so we'll be turning our head torches off, putting the full spectrum light on, and I'll be grabbing a couple of screenshots. So how is everybody this evening? Are you all enjoying 
the weekend. I tell you, look, look at that there. I know I keep panning the camera around to the castle, but this is this is probably the most beautiful place I have ever investigated. Absolutely amazing place. Uh, Duggett's Grove was like a dream come true for a paranormal investigator. And Michelle from the Carrick Fergus team, who organised this weekend, actually told me, you know, Douglas Grove has a special place in her heart. And I'll be honest with you, guys, I can really, really identify with what she is saying. I can understand with what she is saying. Because we've only been here half a day, and already, um, the weekend isn't over, and already I want to come back. You know, it's an absolutely amazing location. So we're going to head down to the bottom part of the garden now, where the Banshee is said to haunt and see if we can get any activity down here. Already I'm getting a shiver going up my spine. Now I think I think Myrtle said there's a part of the garden where there's a I know a V shape. Yeah. So we'll look for there and that's where that's where it's said she said to she said to haunt. I don't know why they're sent through that gate. I might have been down by these See, gates. Was, uh, is it, is it, is it the, this gate, these gates we were at earlier. Yeah, I remember you stood at the corner. I stood at the corners, right? We've we, we got a feeling of sadness up there now. Because yeah, we actually have a medium here with us. That's right, there's a medium here with us. Well, not with me and Damien at the present time, but earlier when we went round the garden, there was a medium with us. So we'll just take a little walk around. This is the bottom section of the garden, guys. Um... <clears throat> Laura Keown says, take me next time. <laughs> well, Laura, the thing about it is, uh, or the next time we come down, if we actually get to organise a weekend here, because the guys were telling us it's so, so hard to get in here. They literally have to fight tooth and nail to get an investigation weekend in here. So whether paranormal shenanigans ever succeeds in getting a weekend here, if we do, our insurance will cover taking certain people um but it'll be forced come you know will be paranormal teams will get the forced refusal you know and you never know some members of the public may get a chance to come and investigate with us down here all right i'm, going, I'm wondering where this v-ship is now the v-ship would that be it there? That looks like a V shape. That looks like a V shape, oh, yeah, right? It goes up this here, yes. This, the, 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 this this could be the, the, this could be the V shape, guys. Now, uh, the girl was telling us just at the other side of this wall here. Um, there's a wee bridge and all outside. We were around the whole grounds earlier. This is where the blood curdling screams came from the last time they were here. Um, so. I think this is the V-ship yep. the murderer was talking about. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take a walk around in case we can find another one. If not, we'll come back around to this one. And then we'll turn on the spirit box. We'll get our lights off anyway. We'll get the torches off. We'll get the full spectrum light on. And we'll get a few photographs taken. Um, I'm going to have to swipe the comments to the side so I'm able to take proper screenshots. But if there's no other V-shape, we're going to head back to this one. And if we can't find any other one, then that's definitely the one where the Banshee is said to haunt. Um, even on the other side of the wall earlier on, guys, uh, Kevin from the Carrick Fergus team was taking us around, you no know, showing us around the place. And we were standing in the little tunnel underneath the bridge. And even we could hear the footsteps uh, just walking all around us. You know, it's it's been an absolutely surreal experience here uh, so far, an amazing experience. That's what I mean. The weekend isn't over, and already I want to come back here. Um, we're just heading out towards that gate, day, so I think this V, uh, that's it over here. So, guys, we're just going to get back round to the V-shaped hedge, to where the Banshee is said to haunt. It is now 25 past 2 in the morning. Perfect time. Getting close to the witching hour. Getting close to the witching hour, guys. Yep. Uh, so, this place, even though it's an amazing place, folks, it isn't for the faint-hearted. You know, 
for paranormal investigators who would, or anybody indeed, who would easily get freaked out, or scared, or would run a mile. Um, Ah, it's only cows. <laughs> just heard someone in the background there, okay, he's just in, in the distance. And uh, just it sounded like just, yeah. just, 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 it was just cows. So, nothing to worry about. Debunked. <laughs> so here we are, guys. This is the V-ship. That, uh, it's, just, it's going out of focus. There we go. This is the V-ship that uh, the lady from the other team was talking about. So this is apparently where... The Douglas Grove Banshee haunts this section here. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, do you want to stick on the full spectrum light? Uh, let me see. Uh, even if you just want to hold it. I'll hold it. If you just want to hold it. Yeah. Right guys, we're just going to turn the our, our head, headlights off. We'll turn all, turn the torches off all together. And... Just shows it'll be second day. You got it. Okay, man, yeah. So we're just gonna get a get a couple of photographs with a full spectrum light guys. So just bear with us. Basically what the full spectrum light will do whatever a normal whatever the eye can see and whatever a normal camera can pick up um, the full spectrum light will it basically will let us see everything in the full spectrum. Sorry, guys. So basically, the full spectrum light will let us pick up stuff that the normal eye and the normal camera can't pick up. So just bear with us a few minutes, just where we get a few photographs. We'll see if we can get anything on the on the spirit box, the SB11. Oh, oh, that was a board. Yeah. Sounded like a board, didn't it? Yeah. Just in this area, folks, you can't be too careful on what you may pick up and not pick up. Um, I always have to keep panning around at the castle. It's absolutely beautiful, yeah, guys. Oh, absolutely beautiful. The way it's led up to it. The way it's led up to it, right. So, um... There we go. Let me see, let's take a photograph yeah. behind me there. Good morning, thank you. Thank you. Aye. Uh, well, actually. No, I, th I think I will we'll just take, get a couple, a couple of screenshots here. Yeah. Just hang out there. Let's stick the oh. headlight back on. That's what. So, um, Joni, a, a banshee is basically it's a female spirit of uh, certain Irish families that follow certain Irish families, and they say that the actual banshee in life was the spirit of a of a disgraced woman. Of that family, and um, they reckon the Duckett's Grove Banshee um, was a disgraced woman who actually had an affair with the actual owner of the property. So, um, hopefully, we'll get some sort of activity down here tonight. Um, it's very, very quiet, so it is. But, ha but I have to say, ear eerily quiet. Damien hit the nail on the head there. Eerily quiet, guys. You're nearly waiting for it to kick off. That's it. That's... Damien's right. We're nearly... Uh, nearly waiting for it to kick off. It's right. Here, D. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So guys, just going to stick on the SB11 here and yeah, see what we can get. That's cool, there, Pab, huh? that's cool. That's right? Yeah. 
If the spirit of the banshee is here, could you please come forward and make contact with us? We are not here to harm you in any way. My name is Pavs, this is my friend Damien. And we are not here to offend you in any way, cause any harm. We are just here to communicate. If you'd like to say hello, could you come and speak into this little black box I have in my hand? Or indeed, if we have any other spirits. If you have any spirits here at all, could you please come forward? That just as I came, there's something like a. It was like sort of a. Oh, came through the spirit box. Oh. Guys, did any of you hear that coming through the spirit box like a kind of a, a groan? Yeah. Then any of you hear that t kind of groan come through the spirit box there, guys? Have we any spirits at all would like to come through to us? See, we did a spirit box session earlier on over at the far side. Uh, at the gate of the far side. And we've got a couple of words. There's a man trying to come through. That was about the height of it, but... The energy just suggested we weren't welcome at that part of the garden and we didn't get that much communication. Hey Paul, hey Meg. So spirits, do not be afraid of us in any way, shape or form. We come here with the utmost respect just to communicate not to offend Getting on them, and they. Yeah, Damien's just saying he has that sort of feeling. Something's going to kick off here, and usually, he's, usually he's right. It's just too quiet here, folks. And never before have they got the heavy jibbies on an investigation, but I'm starting to get them now. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Hey, is he? It's not a train, it's the white noise of the spirit box. And that's what actually the spirits use to communicate. If we didn't have white noise, we would have no communication. But guys, we're not getting much communication here anyway, so... We'll just take a walk walk further on round here. In the hope that somebody will eventually come through to us. So we've had an unsuccessful attempt, guys, at contacting the Banshee this evening. Um, 
this is our first time here. Now, paranormal teams have been coming here for long and many's a day. Um, and usually when people come for the first time and the spirits are a wee bit unsure, you know, sometimes they might not communicate straight away. So, but we're here for the weekend, so we'll see what maybe tomorrow night will bring. But as I said, we weren't even planning on going live tonight. We just thought we'd give you an extra special little treat. Um, the main investigation is tomorrow night. And it'll be inside the castle tomorrow night we'll be investigating. That's a good spot. Oh yeah, well we're taking on a tour earlier on. Inside the castle guys, and that's an amazing spot. But I don't know whether any of you got any good screenshots or what the story is, but we had no communication over from where we thought we would get it. But that's not to say we'll not get any during the night or tomorrow night. Because it is after 2.30. And even when we end the stream, myself and Damien may continue just to investigate until daylight. Have we any spirits at all? We'd like to come forward and say hello. This is where we were earlier on, guys. Just this gate here. This is where we did the last spirit box session. Uh, it was about maybe two hours ago. And there was a medium here with us. And the medium can sense an awful lot of sadness around this gate. And I could sense it myself. So not to the extent the medium could, you know. If you have any spirits here, don't be afraid to come forward and speak into this little bo box I have in my hand. Oh, uh, I know I'm bonkers, Tanya. <laughs> Oh, see me, I'll investigate anywhere and I will look for any spirit. Doesn't matter what it is. For certain people get freaked out, I'll investigate anywhere. And so will Damien. Yeah. I have to say, D Damien is one of the very few members of my team who's never ever been freaked out on an investigation either. But it doesn't look as if we're getting any contact with spirits this evening, guys. But it is very, very eerily quiet as if something is about to happen. No luck anyway. Listen how silent it is. Hmm? Listen how silent it is. Listen how silent it is, right? It is, it's eerily quiet. Eerily quiet. Oh, oh I, I, I know where I've been followed, eh? I, so. I know where I've been followed. I think it's the kids. You see, the the more the guys, the more you do paranormal investigation, the more you can sense of what's going on around you. Why is my tent closer to the door? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. M myself and Damien, our, our two tents are actually over by the entrance into the barn, and that's where all the spirit activity is said to take place during the night. Right beside, right beside where our tents are. <laughs> we we picked the right spot. We we picked the right spot. Is right. So I'm just going to swipe these comments over, guys, a wee second, because... Yes, 2.30am, Tanya. I'd investigate any time of the day or night. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'll just get my torch out so I can take better, yeah. better screenshots. Yeah. I'll tell you, the batteries in this bloody thing don't last that long. It's a good torch, but... Is that ever since here, or...? All the time. Eh, uh, since here. So that's what I mean. Um, I say, yeah, I, I put brand new batteries in of the day, and it's even in half an hour tonight. 
Uh, I only used that torch for half an hour in total, and the battery was completely flat. I, I, asked, I tried to put new batteries in before we came. Before we came down here. So I'm just uh, taking a lot of screenshots, guys. Hmm? Is there anybody here with us? Tell you even bother, do you? Hold on. Do this here. Bloody bugs. <laughs> there we go, there's an EVP recording. So we'll just work recording now. I I've got a recording. So I'm just gonna stay I'm gonna walk around, right? Do you wanna go walk around that way? I walk around. I walk around this way and I'll meet you down the bottom then. So myself and Damien's just split and he's taking the EVP recorder, so hopefully we might pick something up on the EVP. Uh, we won't get much luck with the spirit box. So we've gone our separate ways. That's the thing about me and Damien, guys. We don't we don't worry about going off on our own and investigating by ourselves, you know. Um, and that's the sort of people I want in my team, you know. Now, obviously, it's quite possible to get freaked out during investigations. I'm just taking screenshots here, guys, so just bear with me. So, yeah, so, guys, if, if you do see anything, because there's times... The viewers can pick up on camera what we can't see with the naked eye. Many, many times during screenshots, you know, people have sent to us after investigations. Spirits have come out on the screenshots, but we couldn't see anything with our naked eye, you know. So, if you notice anything, don't be afraid to... Might actually have to end the live stream now, guys, because it's starting to rain. So, it is a starting to rain, and then we're due thunderstorms tomorrow, so it's just as well we're <laughs> investigating inside tomorrow night. But, uh, folks, we hope you have enjoyed this little walkabout uh, with us. Not much communication, but just a little... We weren't supposed to go live until tomorrow night, but a few people had messaged me asking us to do a little live stream tonight, so I just thought I'd come on and just show you about. So... So I hope you enjoyed the little live stream, guys. As I said, we weren't meant to do this tonight. So we just did it as a... As a little treat for you. And there's the castle again in the background. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Give me Duckers Grove over Glide Court any day. This has to be the best place ever. Um, but what we experienced earlier on with, 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 the, with the, the screams and the laughing and the footsteps, it was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And it was just happening all around us. Um, but guys, listen, we believe tomorrow night, I don't know exactly what time, um, because there's a couple of other teams here and they have to investigate as well. So we don't want to be um, stabbing on their toes, if you know what I mean. So, we'll see you tomorrow night at some stage. I'm glad you could join us this evening. I'm sorry about the late time, but um, it was really the only time possible we could come live. So, have a good night's sleep, everyone. God bless and thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you tomorrow night, okay?